So you're hanging out with your friends at a party. The music's playing, people are dancing and celebrating, and somehow, in all this noise, you can pick out the voice of the person standing next to you. Nima Mescarani, a neuroengineer at Columbia Zuckerman Institute, is studying how your brain does this, and he's using this knowledge to build a better hearing aid that reads your mind. If you talk to people who have a hearing impairment, their biggest complaint is always hearing a speech in crowded places. Like whenever there is more than one voice, like if you are in a restaurant or if you are in a you know, party or a bar, if there is, let's say, a TV in the background, the current hearing aids, they just can't do anything in that situation. Electronic assistants like Amazon Alexa or Apple Siri, they have the same problem. They get confused in multi-talker environments. Scientists call this the cocktail party problem. And they have been trying to solve this for nearly 50 years. So we're solving this problem by turning to the device that does this best, the brain itself. To see how the brain listens, we monitored people's brain activity as they heard simultaneous voices. We found that the brain waves of a listener only track the voice of the speaker they are focusing on, and not any of the background voices. In his first experiments, Dr. Mescarani monitored brain activity using electrodes directly implanted into the brains of epileptics undergoing surgery. In the future, he hopes to use non-invasive technologies attached to the skin, as well as a new kind of microphone he's been building that's incredibly good at separating different voices. So my group has created a smarter microphone that can separate the sources. Our device does this better than any that exists today and can do it in real time during a conversation. It uses a form of artificial intelligence called neural network models loosely based on the, the neurons in the brain. The next generation of the hearing aids that we are trying to create, so they monitor the brain of the person to decide who that person is talking to and amplify the sound source that's most similar to the brain wave. Our hope is that in the next five years, this will become into a real product. The more we learn about the brain, the better our machines become. Whether it's helping your phone understand you or helping those with hearing impairments understand their friends at a party.